amazing. I mean, we take a lot of pride in our work. It's the only place in the world that you can, you can build ships like this. To go from Dorothy to CVN 79, I mean, is a tremendous uh, change in how we do things here. It's a process, and from the beginning of the process to the end, you get to see how it comes from nothing to something, you know, and that something's pretty big. The major players in building the carrier is, of course, the shipyard, our customer, the U.S. Navy, and, of course, our suppliers. And I think sometimes our suppliers play a much larger role than, than they realize. Uh, they design a lot and build a lot of components for us, but I think sometimes they don't realize the importance of those components uh, to building a ship. Our industrial base, um, we're supporting small businesses, women-owned businesses, um, families across the U.S. Uh, benefits everybody. So with each state, you know, being able to contribute, even if it's just a nut or even just one bolt, I mean, that's, that state has a stake in saying, you know, I, I help build an aircraft carrier. When you're building something that's bigger than an aircraft carrier, you take a lot of pride in that. You certainly don't do it yourself. It's a whole team effort, but you've been part of a team that has really delivered something remarkable to me. And it may be a little bit difficult to understand that as a supplier who might be making a valve or a switchboard, but that is a remarkably important piece of that as well. So the supplier's contribution is just as important as the shipbuilder putting the ship together in a dry dock. You know, Joe Kell, we're here in Chesapeake, Virginia, and we realize the industrial base is all over the country. So there's a lot of us out there, and all of us contribute to these aircraft carriers and the quality in their construction. We are so proud to do this, but we're also proud of the fact that we know that once we supply Newport News with the products that they've requested, that it gets into the hands of the workforce at Newport News, the shipbuilders, the, the team that dedicates themselves to the quality workmanship that they do in, in everything they do. We employ thousands of people to build these ships, and it's just interesting to see all the mindsets you get, all the skill sets, how they all come together to do this. Yeah, and now that I'm on the Kennedy, you know, uh, we learn lessons from the Ford. Technology's getting better and improving on this carrier, so it's making our jobs a lot easier, a lot safer. It's a welcome change. I came from the paper system. We would have to walk to the office to get on the computer. You know, now everything is, is literally right here in my hand. I can hold it, I can email it and I can take care of everything so much faster. It's, it's making us be able to be better at what we do. KP3 is basically the system that we use to pull cable to keep track of the nine million plus feet of cable that we have to pull, you know, and, and letting us be able to be electricians and do our job from the very second. You know, it eliminates a lot of downtime and eliminates time which equals cost. So that's what we're kind of working with now in 79. How can we improve 80? How can, how can we improve 81? We've made the bulk of the major changes on Kennedy that we can make. There's still a, a few game changers and things that we can do differently uh, on 80 and 81, but the big change on 80 and 81 is how we buy the ship. From a Newport New shipbuilding perspective, we are absolutely ready and able to deliver aircraft carriers faster. Uh, it would absolutely improve our efficiency. We can plan better, we can level load our manning, we can improve our training and how we roll people from ship to ship. So from a shipbuilder perspective, a two-ship buy would allow us to be much, much more efficient and more cost effective. A two-carrier buy for the industrial base would be very important to us. You know, it's important to have continuity in all the work that we do. Our workforce, number one, needs to have the reassurance that their jobs are going to continue on and on, but also the cost effectiveness of having two carriers to the American people and the, and the tax dollars that it would save over the long haul would really benefit everyone. The two ship buy would be a game changer. This is the opportunity for our supply base to go to legislation and tell them how much this influences them, how much they need the support of the legislation to support a two-ship buy for our economy. Building two is going to be a huge jump. Um, it's going to put a lot of pressure on us, but 
we're ready for it. I mean, we say bring it on. With that, first time quality is key, even with our suppliers. You know, ha having these parts and pieces 110% um, um, every time helps us in the long run, it helps us with our schedule, it helps us with our costs, it helps us with our safety. All these little things add up to one big thing, which is the carrier. Make an aircraft carrier go to sea, it's a pretty remarkable thing and it's something we should all be proud of being a part of all the way back to the suppliers. Look at yourself as a vital and critical element in this whole um, realm of building an aircraft carrier because what you do is just as important as what we do. We, we cannot do what we do unless you provide what we need, when we need it, and the quality we need it.